what's going on guys welcome back to the channel i know i glitched out there for a second but anyways we're still doing this <laughs> thank you guys so much for all the love y'all showed on the sons of anarchy man i didn't know that so many of y'all would have actually liked watching this because it was sort of a mixed reaction when i decided to um to react to this even on the live stream that i did like when are you gonna start sons of anarchy um, it was kind of a mixed reaction. Some people don't like the show. Some people think it's trash, whatever. Um, so it was kind of a mixed reaction there. But then I saw the support and I was like, but this show looked like it's going to do better numbers than The Walking Dead right now on the channel. So, hey, why not? I didn't know so many people love this show. Plus, it was overwhelmingly positive feedback for episode one. So we're going to be doing another episode today. Um, thank you guys so much. If you are one of those people that left me some well wishes um, on the post that I made yesterday, telling you guys I won't be back um, yesterday either. I was I, I scheduled some some stuff to do, um, but I didn't get a chance because recurring something that happens to me, um, and I said I'm gonna explain this on every video, every reaction I do today because I want you guys to understand that if you see like. You know, a particular time where there's two, three days in a row where you don't hear from me and I didn't tell you, you know, that is something going that it might be this issue. So what happens is that I, I get these stress headaches or I don't want to say they're migraines because the doctor said they're not migraines. You're just too, you're just stressed. So you need to take a break from whatever you're doing. So usually what I do is I shut down everything, like I turn off, you know, the video games and stuff like that. It usually happens because I'm staring at a screen for too long. And if it's continuous, um, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not, you know, I've been getting a lot of rest in this quarantine. But whenever my eyes open, my eyes is on a, my eyes is on a screen or I'm spending time with my significant other. But that's about it. You get what I'm saying? That's about it. But majority of my day I'm sitting here on the screen never used to happen to me very often when I was you know leaving the house and all of that stuff but that is just stuck at home what else is there to do like I'm not a kid I'm not gonna go outside and you know what I'm saying throw a ball they shut down all the parks you can't go to the parks or nothing <laughs> you know what I'm saying I don't have a yard like that to go out and play I'm not a child <laughs> you know what I'm saying but if they did have the parks open I probably would have gone to you know the parks shoot some hoops whatever you know tire myself out but other than that we're here this is what we're doing sons of anarchy is here today so i just wanted you guys to know that okay so i thought it was going to be over on friday because uh, it's usually like a day but halfway through saturday um i just couldn't i just couldn't like i still woke up with a, with, with a headache and a lot of times, too, what happens to me is that um, my eyes get really twitchy. So it's like I can't even really open my like I can't even really open my eyes. So it's like, yeah, you know, what I'm saying not say I can't open my eyes, but you know what a twitchy eye feels like. I mean, you know, it's not a major illness it happens to pretty much everybody. If you never had an eye twitch before, regardless of what it is, um, you're one of the lucky people who've never had an eye twitch <laughs> anyways loving this show from one episode i loved it i loved how they begun showing us what the sons of anarchy is about and setting that precedence of what's going to go on through the show um i don't know if Jax is going to be you know if he gonna get hard you know what i'm saying he gonna get hard you know what i'm saying like the rest of them or is, is he gonna remain you know what I'm saying? So soft, easygoing. You know what I'm saying? He still strikes me as a good leader. Um, and I think he's the type of guy that will do things whenever it needs to be done. You get what I'm saying? But he's not that he's not for the senseless killing to prove a point. You get what I'm saying? So um, I'm looking forward to learning more about these characters. I still don't really fully know the names of these characters, but they're definitely I'm going to learn them over time. But definitely because he's the main character and his name is pretty easy to remember too, Jack. So let's jump into this episode and I will see you guys for the review.
All right, so season one, episode two, Sons of Anarchy. That was a more laid back episode, kind of seeing more of their control, I would say, over the city of Charming. Charming. Seeing more of their control is a sight to behold. Bars. Anyways, um, it just goes to show you, man, like, you know, I, I like the, the spirit because I like the spirit of the show. Why? Because, you know, it's going to tackle certain things, family, of course. And it's also going to tackle, you know, the gang life and, you know, basically, you know, the old sayings of, you know, you, you know, uh, the enemy of, enemy of my enemy is my friend or you know, those little sayings is going to tackle those. Also, them turning on the Niners. You know what I'm saying? The the loose, the loosely used N-words. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You guys already know on this channel that, I, that, that it doesn't bother me as an individual. It may have bothered other people to see them use it so casually in the show. But it doesn't bother me. I just... Like, I'm not for it. I don't like to, I don't like to hear it used. You know what I'm saying? With the audio, I don't like to hear it used. But at the same time, like, I'm not going to stop watching the show because they're saying the N-word. It's obvious that I don't know what year or what time period this was set in. But it's definitely not the the time period because a lot of times when they do that in tv shows or or movies it's usually the time period of when that shit was allowed and it's okay out into the open nobody gives you know what i'm saying like nobody gave a shit you know what i'm saying as in the white people didn't give a shit they just did what they had to do or what they not what they had to do what they wanted to do right so for for that reason i'm you know, I'm looking at them like, it doesn't bother me, you know what I'm saying? But I understand why they need to implement it. Because especially when it comes on to the characters that are clearly racist. Like, the guy that's clearly wearing a swastika. And he's also calling, <laughs> he called the Mexican guy La Bamba. Like, he's racist beyond, he ain't coming back. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, that guy just, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm surprised the guy didn't punch him in the face for that. But that's... You know, um, it is what it is. They know what, you know, some of the times when you know what you are, is just like, but at the same time, they are a little fearful of, you know what I'm saying, of the other gangs. No matter what, there's a certain kind of respect that I see between the leader of the Sons of Anarchy and also from meeting the, the leader of the Niners for, for like the one time we saw him for the smooth he, he, he can show force too so you know what i mean but at least he's not calling him a nigger you know so <laughs> that's the thing too like this this intro this outro this review that i'm doing is probably going to get <laughs> demonetized because i'm saying this word over and over again but it is what it is you know um i, I say nigger sometimes during my reviews right yeah, I do, and it doesn't bother them. You know, as long as it, the thing about it is, um, what I like about the new YouTube system, the thing like you basically can choose your monetization now, which is really cool. Like, if they they ask you like what is in your video before they demonetize it. So if you say none of the above, none of this stuff, strong language, you can put in strong language so they know. Okay, this is strong language. We're not gonna put this video in front of kids. Whatever the situation is whatever they choose to do but basically based on that they'll know what to do with your video you get what i'm saying is that like if it's have like sexual content in it you know what i'm saying so sexual suggestive stuff like if you're you know a girl and you dress skimpy and stuff like that you can choose your monetization and then the system based on what you choose they still check in the video but based on what you choose if you choose correct they'll say okay you're doing well with your monetization or telling us what in your video um so because of that you know what i'm saying other than the, the two hour suggestion that they give to you to 
um, for their help, for the algorithm's help, so to go through your video, make sure everything is okay. So you can choose to wait those two hours or you can publish immediately. But I usually wait, you know, I mean, usually it takes me that long to get the videos up after I finish anyway. So it doesn't matter. So, um, so once the video is up and stuff like that, but I like that that system is in place so that they're not automatically just demonetizing your video because you know so i like i like the fact that they did that so they're moving in the right direction like you know there's still a lot of things about youtube they need to fix i don't know why i'm talking about this right now but the subject came up so i just went on a long ass talk about that stuff but <laughs> but anyways i'm enjoying the show man uh um i like what they do i'm glad that um the president you know he went with you know he went with jack's idea of taking care of the the problem uh so we'll see how things go um next in next episode like we're warming up we're warming up still i'm loving it. i'm loving the storyline but man the mom she's like how she's kind of like she reminds me of the mothers in italian mobs okay that's who she reminds me of like if you really look back a lot of times, the respect that Italians have for their mothers, bro, like that shit is not a joke. And that, and it's the same kind of thing that I'm seeing here where there's a certain level of respect that they have for her or it's either that or she's just the one behind the scenes as does like I'm making sure that these my family is OK. So she does have some power there. You know what I mean? So. I'm looking forward to seeing more from her, um, what role she's going to play in the upcoming episodes, seasons, whatever. Um, so we'll, we'll see how that go. Jax is a real one. You know what I'm saying? Like he's the type of leader you'd want. I don't know if he's going to change in the future, but he seems like a real cool dude that would make the right, making the right decisions when he needs to make the right decisions. It's like, we don't need to make this a mess all the time. You get what I'm saying? We can do things on a, in a subtle way. Sometimes you don't always got to be brash and you know what I mean? Like he's figuring it out of ways that they can do stuff and, and fix problems. And that's a trait of a good leader, not just doing the same thing that the people before you doing, but being innovative and moving forward with that. So I'm happy that I'm able to watch this. Hope you guys keep supporting these videos, man. I really do appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. More Sons of Anarchy to come. Leave a like, leave a comment. Subscribe if you're new. Your boy is out. Peace.